Hey guys, welcome to the first weekend preview of the fall semester. I'm Carson. And I'm Larissa. And I cannot believe that this is the second week of fall semester. I know, it still feels like summer to me though because of all this heat down in Columbia. I literally saw heat waves while I was making my way here today. That's crazy. And with the new semester comes new opportunities. We have news reporter Maria to ask students what their goals are for the semester. What do you have for us, Maria? Hey guys, I'm Maria Teles here over at TCOOP. We're going to talk to some students and see what they're up to for this fall semester. So what is your biggest goal for this fall semester? Not to have a mental breakdown. Well, I'm applying to graduate school. I'm applying for a PhD in clinical psychology, so I'm hoping to get in, or at least an interview. So that's my goal. Smart and pretty, guys. Smart and pretty. Um, it's hopefully to get a 3.0. I'm in the pharmacy school, so I'm hoping that I can get some good academics there. Not failing organic. I have heard <laughs> great things about that class. I want to talk to a lot of females. How many have you talked to so far? Well, 20, 25. Am I, am I the 25th? No. Nah. What year are you? I'm a freshman. I could tell by the little glimmer in your eyes. So you're like, you're full of hope and <laughs> yeah. dreams. Remember guys, remember those days? I'm a P1 in the pharmacy school. I would be a junior here, but it's a six year pharmacy program. So it's a little bit accelerated. So a little bit tough, but hey, I think I'm gonna get through it. I think you can do it. I believe in you. Give me your best, go Cox. Go Cox. Thank go Cox. Thank you so much. Wow, it seems like students have a lot of goals for this semester, but if they're just looking to kick back and relax for this Labor Day weekend, there are plenty of events for them to go to as well. Like the 27th annual SC Pride Parade will be held on Main Street this Saturday. It'll be held from noon to 9 p.m. and admission to the event is free, which is pretty amazing considering Jordan Sparks, who won American Idol, will be performing. She'll be there with DJ Trevor Donovan and some SC Pride Kings and Queens will be there as well. For more information on the Pride Parade, you can go to scpride.org. That is really impressive. And also, the celebration doesn't stop there. Music Farm is going to be hosting the SC Pride Aftermath Ooh. from 11 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. The tickets are going to be from $15 to $20, but if you purchase a Pride Pass, then admission is free. Oh, you definitely have to get that pass then. Check out the link below for more information on how to purchase a Pride Pass. And if you want to do something more outdoorsy this weekend, you can go to the Cedar Creek Canoe Trail, which was held at the Congaree National Park. And it's basically a 30 to 45 minute canoe ride. And it's on from 1.30 until 3.30 in the afternoon from Friday through Sunday. And in my opinion, this event is great for a couple of reasons. One, because it's free. And two, because you can take your significant other or maybe some friends to the event. I don't have a significant other, but I would definitely take my friends to this canoe trail. I will probably be dragging my boyfriend. There you go, it'll be like a sure. notebook. Yes, and speaking of The Notebook, we have movies for you this weekend. Carolina Productions and the Russell House Theater will be showing Now You See Me 2 at 6 p.m. and The Witch at 9 p.m. and they will be playing Friday through Sunday. Are you going to bring your boyfriend to those too? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all we have for you for this weekend preview. Make sure to tune in next week. And make sure to follow us on Twitter at SGTV News 4 and have a good Labor Day weekend.